Microplastics are these tiny plastic particles that you cannot see. They're usually under five millimeters and nanoplastics are under a thousand millimeters. They come from everyday things such as tires wearing down, food packaging, which is common sense, paint, even some sunscreens and cosmetics contain microplastics. They can get in through what we eat and drink, the air we breathe, and what touches our skin. Now here's the part that's alarming. A recent Nature Medicine report showed that advanced chemistry and microscopy was able to discover these particles, not just in the liver, not just in the kidney, but in our brains. Most of these particles were polyethylene. Levels in the brain and the livers were higher in 2024 samples compared to when they last tested back in 2016, suggesting that the burden is rising. Does this affect the heart? Another study in the New England Journal of Medicine looked at plaque from carotid arteries and people with detectable plastics in their carotid arteries were found to have a higher risk of stroke, heart attacks, and death during the follow-up period. What about safety and oversight? So the US FDA evaluates products that use nanomaterials, such as like cosmetics and sunscreen. And under its existing authorities, it's refining its approach on how the science evolves. The agency does evaluate each nanotechnology containing product individually and applies existing legal and scientific standards according to its category, whether it's food, drug, device, or cosmetic. The problem with this particular letter was that it's outdated. This was last updated in 2018. And we've had a load of more nanoparticles and microplastics introduced into our environment. So what can we do right now? Consider how much plastic you use on a daily basis. Think about your drinking water. Think about your vacuum, whether or not it has a HEPA filter. And when it comes to eating out, try to take used utensils with you or ask for biodegradable products. Be careful with your sunscreen and skincare. You've got to wear sunscreen to help prevent skin cancer and other forms of skin damage. Here's a disclaimer. Human studies show presence and associations, not causation. That means that we still lack strong and vigorous data to show that ingesting microplastics or uh, utilizing a certain habit leads to the microplastic development in our bodies later on, which can cause an increase in heart attack strokes and death. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm here to make the medicine make sense.